Hello YouTube, good morning. Man, I love the internet. I mean, yesterday I posted this YouTube video uh, saying, okay, if you need tips, hints, uh, coaching for your RC flying, just drop me a message. And yesterday evening, first question came in, and it's actually a good question uh, from Thies. Um, Thies would like to learn to fly 3D. Uh, and what he explains is that his regular flying whatever that is, I'm just guessing, pattern flying, basic aerobatics is going quite okay, same for inverted flying um, he says I do have the problem that um, cornering to the left seems easier than cornering to the right and he figured out on his own that <laughs> it's a good idea to just fly a lot of right hand corners right now to overcome that so his question is about knife edge flying he says um, it's, it's going quite okay if I'm flying from right to left with the top of the plane towards me um, so with the rudder to the right but the other orientations or flying circles is uh, a bit more difficult do you have any tips? so I talked to him a bit because he dropped me that message on uh, Facebook Messenger um, oh yeah, he also talks about he's flying with uh, Tech One Katana so that's basically a, a profile me those are quite okay you know to train aer aerobatics I mean for starting for starters on, on everything you have to train you know it's training your thumbs so and these foamies they are basically they don't really come close to the flight characteristics of big planes but your thumbs will have to go in the same direction so and basically in everything you do in your model flying um, you are training uh, and improving your let's say your man-machine interface right so in everything we learn as people we have to make new brain connections and that's basically what you're doing while you're learning to fly RC planes and when you're improving you know that all has to be programmed into your system and that just takes time you recognize that right so um, uh, yeah we can we can work on I can I can tell a lot about that um, let me see, so yeah, he has to think a lot about which side to go with the rudder if he's coming from some random direction, from some random position and he wants to roll to knife edge he has to think about, okay, what, which side do I need the rudder uh, which is normal um, yeah, right, and oh, in the end he wants to do rolling circles that's cool, that's maybe another episode um, so okay, um, let's say this video is for people that have already started um, training knife edge and that have cut the knife edge basics at least down a little bit, you know, so they can fly a pretty much a straight line, you know, uh, about, at least in your favorite direction, what rudder input you need, um, you know how to overcome that switching in directions by steering with the elevator which acts as a rudder um, all of that and uh, hopefully you're already at a point where you can keep that level people that start knife edge you usually see them doing that in an upward line which makes sense you know because hey <laughs> if your knife edge is going down that's where your heartbeat starts going up and uh, <laughs> I, had, I had that uh, in the beginning as well so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take out the extra and um, we're gonna show you a couple of exercises on um, how to improve basically it all comes down to a lot of training remember that you have to do a move a lot of times before you actually have programmed that into your brain and you have a direct connection in your brain with your plane which actually travels through your arms, through your thumbs, through the transmitter and everything but that those connections are there in your brain so uh, yeah, let's get into it, let's get the extra out and uh, show you a bit about advancing a knife edge alright, so knife edge techniques and improving them so I'm gonna do just a little flight doing a lot of knife edge stuff uh, and trying to give you a few pointers on how to improve now when you're proficient you get to really play with it you know you can make knife edge corners knife edge loops with a little snap in the middle 
um, and basically it all comes down to feeling free to you know do whatever you want in knife edge um, don't make the same mistake as I did okay so I really have to practice my knife edges from left to right because I taught myself to do everything from right to left at some point in my uh, in my training so whatever move you're trying to do make sure you get proficient from right to left and from left to right okay um, all right so T says I'm having some difficulties with knife edge and with knowing what way to push my sticks um, I get that um, you can learn a lot you know and get your man machine interface up to speed with four-point rules so because you go live knife edge knife edge the other way around knife edge knife edge the other way around you know so um, four-point rules are always a good start um, do plenty of them and do them from left to right and from right to left so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you practice a lot of knife edges in just one straight line and, and do them in in straight lines at first try rolling into them fast try rolling into them slowly um, and get the hang of that okay now um, basically if you want a pointer on um, what should I really think about um, so you know if you got the basics down then you know that if you go from upright if you come from an upright position and you roll to the left then you'll need right hand um, rudder right and if you roll to the right you'll need left rudder so um, you've got that basic down basically whenever you come from inverted that all changes so um, if you come from inverted in the beginning you'll have to think about it a lot you know so but if you come from inverted whoop, yeah so if you come from inverted let's say and you roll to the right you'll have to give rudder to the right if you roll to the left you'll have to give rudder to the left so think about that right so it just turns around it's the same for everything uh, inverted harriers uh, rolling harriers all that kind of stuff um, uh, hovering with the back of the plane facing you um, everything like that rudder will turn around um, <clears throat> uh, another good way to practice your knife edges I think um, both sides is actually uh, going knife edge on one side and then doing two-point rolls so basically going I'm in knife edge rolling around to the other side 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 so 180 degree rolls um, and basically just you know getting your fingers used to that um, to that to that feeling you know to that feeling basically what you want to do is um, you're training your brains right so you have to uh, through your eyes give your brains a look at a certain position of your plane um, and so that's from right to left and from left to right um, and and then you know in combination with the right input so you'll be training your brain to do stuff from left to right and from right to left and the more you do it basically your brain will react to or adapt to a visual and a certain position of your thumb right um, so I think that's uh, the most important part and then another thing to get more proficient in knife edge is to to really practice it at different kind of speeds because it will require more or different inputs um, and uh, oh, batteries are already dead so uh, basically um, uh, training it at different speeds and also um, practice climbing a bit in knife edge and descending a bit in knife edge so really combining inputs and movements with that basic knife edge you are doing um, 
because you know in the end like peace he wants to go to 3d flying so a regular straight knife edge that is you know at the same speed um, all the time that's not going to get you there because basically in 3d flying um, you're always reacting to your plane and you're like steering your plane all the time and reacting to how your plane acts the whole time so already get used to that by varying the throttle varying angles you know um, and just make sure that you are steering as much as possible so that's why I think that um, you know knife edge half a roll knife edge half a roll knife edge that's good because you have to be you know you have to be active with your thumbs and by being really active you're training your brain to be really active with the thumbs and you're training your brain to make the link between that visual of my plane in knife edge like this or like this and a certain movement of my thumbs so um, it's a lot of training but it's a lot of fun uh, once you got these knife edges down so these um, listen I hope it helps man I, I hope it helps uh, let me know if you found this helpful um, if you have any other questions you know where to find me so um, I think that's it for now um, really love the fact that I asked you to give me input yesterday and you do it immediately and I can go to the field and film something and have a little fun editing uh, tonight so um, cool stuff thanks for that thank you all for watching and see you next time bye bye